हेलो एंड वेरी वार्म वेलकम टू दिस स्पेशल इंटरव्यू फोकस ऑन भारतीय रेलवे माल गोदाम एंड एज यू नो दैट इंडियन रेलवे प्लेड वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रोल इन द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ द कंट्री स्पेशली इन आर इकोनॉमी एंड वन ऑफ द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड कॉम्पोनेंट पार्ट ऑफ रेलवे इज द माल गोदाम वर्कर्स द वर्कर्स हुआ रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर गुड शेडिंग ऑन डिफरेंट रेलवे स्टेशन एंड टूडे uh this is there are around 7 and 1/2 lakhs people working in this space and today we are joined by somebody who has actually work in this space a lot for the welfare and development of the malgodam workers and i am happy to uh, tell you that i am joined by uh, the president of bharatiya railway malgodam union uh, mr parimal uh, kanti mandal and we are going to talk about uh, some of the initiative taken by the union some of the challenges that the union is facing and some of the work that the union is doing in order to uh, provide better opportunity better healthcare services and better social service uh, to the union member thank you so much sir for uh, joining us today uh, let me begin by asking you as i said that there are almost 7 and 1/2 lakh members uh, who are actually uh, working in this space um, uh, you set up this union for the welfare of mal godam worker uh these are the worker who were not even recognized earlier as a worker in terms of the definition of the of the worker that we have under the industry act uh, would you like to share what was the main thought behind having this union some of the work that you are doing if you could share about that sir actually through my ngo work i saw mass of people suffering with various problems Uh, mainly daily wages uh, unorganized workers then i saw uh, some workers who are staying under the plastic sheet uh, near railway goods shed and they said that they are having food shelter and take rest under the plastic sheet said they are deprived both uh, monetary and uh, physically since british period the indian railway earned 79.1% profit from the goods sector uh, the malgodam workers are the key person to earn this profit but it is surprise that they are none of employee of the indian railway they are under the contractors they are under the contractor so indian railway pays enough for the loading and unloading work through the contractor but they usually get a little amount to survive after a tireless work in that time i have decided to start working with them and to provide them their actual basic rights because they are working for indian railway goods set then i formed bhartiya railway malgodam shramik union right right no it's really wonderful as you said that uh, there are a lot of people who are working in indian railway and almost responsible for the 79% profit of the indian railway but they are not actually the railway employee the work is given to the contractor and then contractor is getting work done and there are a lot of thing like uh, basic amenity that should be given those are not getting so i think you have taken a very great initiative in terms of addressing some of the challenges of those worker uh, could you also share in how many states uh, you are right now functioning um, what kind of member you have what is the size of membership your uh, your union has right now yes uh, we are now uh, expanded with west bengal jharkhand assam odisha andhra pradesh uttar pradesh uh, madhya pradesh bihar and uh, we are trying to reach the rest of the states now our uh, uh, directly uh, we reached uh, 7 lakh 7.5 lakhs uh, member actually 10 lakhs uh, members are there right okay so there are 10 lakhs member overall and you are able to reach 7.5 lakhs i mean which is Uh, really a very good number i mean you are reaching almost 75% of uh, the total strength when you started this union uh, so what was the response of the people who are working because there are a lot of people who might not be aware about their rights as a worker so how has been their response and when you go out to different states uh what are their response how they are actually um, uh, you know responding to your call for being part of the union and uh, getting their due process it is uh, not so easy 
we have started to visit uh, good shed one by one right. and told them the organize themselves to raise their voice for their rights. Right. Nobody has taken the interest for their problems. Actually, they never known about their rights, Indian. Uh, actually, they, they never known about their rights, Indian railway spends hmm. a lot for them. But they never get the same. Almost labors are illiterate. Hmm. After a tireless work, they got a little amount giving after a thumb impression on a register. When we told them the truth, then they were started and motivated. Right, 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 right. Uh, what are some of the work that you are doing in order to, as you said, most of the workers are illiterate and there are a lot of rights. In fact, Indian Railway is providing a lot of services, but, but they are not aware. And since most of the services are, uh, I believe, uh, is run via the contractor and contractor is not actually telling and not providing the services to the actual worker, which is the end uh, uh, beneficiary. Uh, so when you started the union, uh, what kind of focus you have, what, uh, what kind of what you have done in order to better the life of the worker who is part of your union? At a starting time, I move our total team members to all divisional set, good set, to talk with those workers. Then we have come to know their actual problems. Wages, accidental benefit, quarter, dress, education for children, restroom, toilet, drinking water. There are many more problems they have. Then we make a strategy to avail them the basic needs. Right, right, right. So these are some of the challenges that the workers are facing, yes. and you, uh, your uh, members, went out there, spoke to them at different sheds, and try to understand. How many sheds are there across the country? Uh, uh, 1,078 uh, uh, sheds. Right, in our right. In a country, and what is your basic demand to the government, into the Indian Railway as a union? Our basic demands: uh, all the railway good shed workers need to provide a fixed contact of wages, need to arrange wages received for prevent corruption or cut money. As per Digital India concept, workers should be provided wages through bank account transfer system. As per the Government of India's concept, Ayushman Bharat, all workers of railway goods set need to provide all facilities, free medical for all workers and they are families in a railway hospital. Accidental benefit and after physical disability to provide service for a person from his families. Right. Rail pass for every worker. After retirement, pension and service for workers on family member. Free child education, quarter near workplace. For better security and safety in railway area, workers should to issue an identity card. Railway goods said workers should have a specific dress code or uniform. Restroom at railway goods said area, drinking water, toilet, and canteen at rail goods said. Right. These are some of your demands uh, yes. to the Indian railways that they should provide all these services. And I feel most of them are very basic services which is available to any worker if uh, they are working with any industry, any government organization. How hopeful are you that some of your demands will be met by the government? Uh... Sure. Most of the minister, parliament members are carefully listen our presentation and support our demands in favor of railway Malgodam workers. They also agreed that the demands are justified. We are really thankful to the government for the for they assured us that the problems will be sorted out soon. We are too much happy to declare that the government has accepted and uh, the railway authorities has been ordered to GM to implement some demands like toilet, drinking water, restroom, etc. As you have spoken about uh, some of the challenges that uh, the worker has been facing, uh, some of the demand that you have from the government. Um, uh, could you also share as a union what kind of work you have done for the welfare of uh, the good shed worker across the country? We have done a great job 
uh, for railway goods and worker. The government has longed ISROM uh, portal for unorganized workers with some facilities and it was no specific option for railway goods and workers. We request to Ministry of Labor and Welfare uh, to give an option in primary occupation as railway goods and workers in ISOM portal. At uh, Constitution Club of India, 12th uh, March, this year senior authorities from Ministry of Railway and Ministry of Labor and employment handed over, handed over us survey form to collect data of railway goods and worker in India. We are very thankful to the Ministry of Labor and Welfare that they consider it for about 10 lakh railway goods and workers in India. For this railway goods and worker are recognized and will be benefited with all facilities given by the government. Right. Uh, as you mentioned about the e Sharam card that um, the government has uh, some time back accepted the, the good shed worker uh, to be given and that has been done after a lot of effort, lot of I mean um, uh, demand that you have made and lot of program that you have done and have created awareness to the government that this section of people should also be recognized. Uh, under the eSharam portal, but there are a lot of technicalities challenge right now because uh, it has been recognized under some section uh, as a worker. Uh, and as you earlier said that uh, majority of the worker in this space are uh, not highly literate. Uh, they might not have a great access to internet and might not have access to the eSharam portal. Uh, could you share how actually the good shed worker can avail the facility of eSharam um, card and the kind of benefit that they can get uh, because of this card? Actually, already we have uh, started campaigning in railway goods set and about the facilities of uh, ISOM card. Uh, our members are attending them with technical support and uh, registered them, registered name in ISOM portal. Right. Right. So, that means the members of the union are going out meeting all the good shed worker and trying to register them in the eSharam portal, mm -hmm. which is really wonderful uh, initiative. I believe people who are facing some challenges in terms of internet, in terms of registration and all, they can actually with the help of the union can get themselves registered. Uh, so far, we have spoken a lot of things. I think we started with the um, uh, why the union was set up. We also spoke about uh, some of the challenges that the good shed worker are facing. Uh, you also spoke about uh, the effort that your union has made uh, in terms of improving the life, improving the skills of the good shed worker. Um, and also the e Sharam uh, success that you have got um, uh, in last one year wherein now the employ uh, good uh, you know good shed worker are being recognized and they could be part of the e sharam uh, portal and gradually i believe the healthcare services other demand will be met what is the next focus for the union you have worked so far quite good what next for you if the government accepted them as railway employee then it is good neither we will must continue our movement in favor of railway good set uh, railway good set worker to giving them their basic rights onwards uh, mr president of uh, bhartiya railway malgodam union uh, parimal kanti mandal ji thank you so much for your time i think you spoke on all the question quite well and you um, shared a lot of things about the union the work that union is doing and uh, why actually this movement is really important for the welfare of good shed worker across the country thank you so much sir for your time thank you